identifying the need to make Parliament a familiar and accessible place to our citizens, thus addressing any form of democratic deficit and enhancing and expanding the parliamentary work, I initiated the establishment of a new institution in Cyprus, that of the Parallel Parliament. The Parallel Parliament aims primarily at developing an interactive relation with the public in order to strengthen citizenship, participatory democracy, pluralism and transparency. As the definite representatives of popular sovereignty, coupled with the legislative and scrutiny work and activity, members of parliament will be provided with the opportunity to listen carefully to the concerns of specific social groups and contribute to their solutions through a permanent channel of dialogue and communication with the citizens and provided by the new coordinated framework. With this activity, we are aiming to shift today's relations between society and parliament toward a more structured and efficient form. The new structure will enable organizations and members of society not only to be more aware of today's problems, but also produce proposals for solutions of the problems. In particular, acting as a driving force in society's best interest, the parallel parliament aspires to stimulate society regarding global developments and challenges and at the same time to activate citizens to get involved themselves in what happened around and concerns them. In this way, progress and development can be achieved at all levels, political, economic, social and cultural. The parallel parliament will operate under the following themes. One, innovation, research and e-governance. Two, culture and education. Three, environment, ecology, sustainability and total health. Four, citizens and society. Five, children representatives. Six, young representatives. 